Welcome back, Tigers. Did you know that any user with a profile that has the API-enabled permission can connect their Salesforce user to another application if you don't have the feature called API Access Control turned on? The craziest part is you have to open a case with Salesforce to even enable this feature. Without API Access Control turned on, users can enter their credentials into any third-party application and potentially share data with unauthorized applications. This is a major security issue for your company, and it's what we're seeing happening in the news right now. Let's go learn how to block unauthorized connections to your Salesforce API. All right, here we are in Salesforce, and we're going to demonstrate what is happening with all these companies in the news. Why are their users connecting to external applications? How are they allowed to? What apps are they connecting to? So our first step is going to be to go into setup. And then you're going to go to a section called Connected Apps OAuth Usage. Now this section contains a list of applications that your users have connected to. And then you can see which users have connected to each of the applications by clicking on the user count right here. This will show you which user connected the last time they connected, how many times they've connected and the first time they connected. Now, if this is an application that you don't want them to be using, you don't want it to be authenticated right now, you can click revoke all and then revoke all again, and it will revoke all the tokens that are currently connected to that application. Now you need to be very careful when you start going through your list because some of these applications may be needed for your users to be able to do their job. You'll have applications like Tableau, Zapier, DocuSign, Conga, and you have to give those connected apps the proper permissions before you start blocking or changing permissions or anything like that. So this is your first step is just to get a handle on what applications your users have connected to. Now let's look at what happens in this section whenever I connect to an external app. We're gonna go to Workbench. Okay, you can see it allowed me to log in. Now let's come over to our connected apps OAuth usage. We're gonna refresh. And then we can see that Workbench was just added as an application that was logged into. If we click the user count, we will see that I just logged in just now. If we go back, we can manage the app policies and we can see that this is set to permitted users, all users may self-authorize. Now, if we wanted to lock this application down, we can click edit policies and then we can change this to admin approved users are pre-authorized. Now this will instantly disable anybody from being able to use this unless they are a permitted user. We'll click save there and then you'll see two sections open up down here where you can add the profiles or permission sets of users that are allowed to use this application. So now if I come over to Workbench and I log out and log in, You can see that this says user is not admin approved to access this app, which is great. That's exactly what we want to happen. Now, if I wanted to allow the system administrator profile to access Workbench, I could come back to Workbench connected app. I would go down to profiles and then I would select the system administrator profile, click save. Now this is going to allow any user with a system administrator profile to log in to Workbench. And you can see that it remembered my credentials and allowed me to log right in. So that's how you can control the applications one by one, but this is kind of after the fact, right? The users have a free for all, they can connect to any app and you really wanna lock down their ability to just go out and connect to any application of their choice. I know everything in the news is all about people getting scammed and getting tricked into going to a URL outside of Salesforce and entering their credentials. But to me, that's not the biggest problem. Um, I've seen a lot of customers have users that go out and try different applications and they have system administrator permissions or they have a profile that has a ton of permissions and they just connect to the application and they're not under an NDA. Your data is not 
protected. You're not under any contracts with any of these applications that your users could be connecting to. So to me, that's really even more dangerous than some of these people who are getting social engineered into going to external sites because these are usually technical savvy users who are wanting to go and test out different applications without thinking about the fact that they could really be giving all of their data away and it's not protected underneath any contracts that your company has with that vendor. You'll see some applications here that don't have the manage app policies link. And how you get that link is you're just going to install the app. So if you wanted to go ahead and install Tableau server, for example, so that you can manage the app policies, you'll install the connected app. And then you'll see if we go back to this list here, I now have the manage app policies link. So you can come here and you can now lock it down. So if you have anything that you need to lock down immediately, you can, you would set this to admin approved users, click save, and then you would assign any profiles or permission sets to allow those users to use this application. Now there may be some apps that you just wanna completely block. You can click block on any of these and it will immediately block anybody from being able to connect to this application. So now how do we completely block any user from being able to enter their credentials into random applications? Well, Salesforce has this feature called API access control. And if we try to go to it, we can't. We don't have API access control by default in our orgs. You have to open a ticket with Salesforce and you have to request this feature to be turned on and provide the org IDs that you want this feature to be provisioned in. Now we recommend that you test this out in a sandbox because you can really do some damage to your integrations or to your users' workflows if the connected apps that they're using don't have the proper permissions. So DocuSign, Conga, all of those, you really need to go through some rigorous testing to make sure those have the permissions that they need. It's really as simple as just adding their profiles to the connected app, and then the users will be able to use those apps. Now, after Salesforce enables the API access control in your org, you'll have a section that looks like this. You'll be able to go to setup and search for API access control, and then you'll get a screen that has three different options. This first option is the one that you want to enable. This is going to prevent your users from being able to connect to any connected apps unless they're pre-approved. Now, what you'll see is that when you turn this on, it is going to set all of your applications to have permitted users equals admin approved users are pre-authorized. That means that if you turn this setting on before you add profiles and permission sets, allowing your users to use connected apps, you're gonna effectively lock them out out of all connected apps. So before you turn this on, you need to make sure you go and change each connected app in the sandbox, test it one by one to have this setting, and then add the profiles and permission sets that need access to that connected app. After you do all of your testing and make sure your supported apps and the authorized apps that you want your team to use are all set up properly, then you can turn this on. The second setting is to prevent your external customers and partners using digital experiences from being able to connect to different applications. So if you're using a digital experience, you will want to turn that on. And then this setting is for visual force pages. So if you need to allow users of visual force pages to override this limitation and access APIs, you'll need to check that box. All right, so go ahead and go lock down that Salesforce API, protect your org, and make sure that none of your users are connecting unauthorized applications to your Salesforce API. That's it. That's a wrap. Be sure to subscribe to Blue Tiger Academy so you don't miss our next video that will explain how Salesforce connectors like N8N and Zapier are super helpful when integrating Salesforce with external applications. They offer a low cost, fast way to integrate applications without using any custom code. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a video on a different Salesforce topic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.